Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is currently 12.30 on the dot. On this cold, snow-filled evening, it is currently 17 degrees outside. The wind chill factor is supposed to be something like 10 below, Tony was telling me. Something like that, I don't know. And <clears throat> I literally just posted my vlog like uh, a half an hour ago. Do you ever have those days <laughs> that just do not go your way whatsoever? Let me tell you about my day. Are you guys ready to hear about my day? Sure, that's probably... <laughs> You're like, yes, that's why we came here to hear about your day. So let me tell you about my day. Okay. First of all, put this four-wheel drive in case there's bad snow anywhere. Which almost all the roads are cleared by now. So let me tell you about my day. Okay. I, first of all, last night when I got done vlogging, well, I ended up vlogging last night <laughs> for an hour and it ended up being like 53 minutes or something like that. So I, I went in today and I was having such a hard time with this vlog. So <clears throat> there was a part that I was gonna cut out anyway um, about a story that I was telling in regards to my friend. Um, it's at the, it's towards the end and it's when I said, I said in there like, oh, I was telling a story about my friend. And so <clears throat> anyway, but I ended up cutting out a larger part because, um, what's going on here? It's snow people snow removal people um but I cut out a larger part because <clears throat> I was having such a hard time getting my video to cooperate today and work that it was getting so late that a two-hour vlog was going to take me forever to upload and I didn't think that I was ever going to be able to upload it so I ended up cutting out like a half an hour of it and it's like a hundred it's like an hour and 20 it was like an hour and 23 minutes it doesn't really make a whole change a whole lot it's whatever um but what happened was, last night when I got done vlogging, and I had such a blast last night vlogging too, um, I listened to Bonnie and Clyde. I finished Bonnie and Clyde last night. I honestly didn't think that I would, but I finished it last night. I just kept on driving around listening to it, listening to it and finishing it. I've been biting the sides of my tongue today too. I don't know why. So anyway, I finished it, and... Um, I was, it was so good, you guys. It was really, really, really good. Um, I think I ended up giving it five out of five stars. I didn't think I would. I thought I would give it like a four out of five stars, but I ended up giving it a five out of five stars. So, um, come on, Mr. Car. Same car as me. So, I finished that, and then I went home, and I stayed up, and I watched the rest of the season. Um, I had episode five. I was on episode five, so I had six, seven, and eight. So I had like three and a half episodes to watch of the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window or whatever it was called. And um, I finished all episodes. Well, it was like 7.20 by the time that I went to bed. So I knew I wasn't going to get up today. <clears throat> and um, Alex went into work late, and he went to work at like, I think it was like 10 or 11 when he went into work. And then afterwards, he was like, uh, do you care if I go over to my friend's house? They were going to take pictures in the snow and stuff, which they did for their Instagram, which was real cute. And I was like, no, because I'm filming videos anyway. But I started rendering the vlog. And when I render the stuff, like when I render a video on iMovie, when it's done, it'll say exported successfully. Okay. But I did it once. And it's an hour and 53 minutes, okay? And it said, so it takes a while to render it. It took like, you know, a half an hour or so. And it says, export failed. So my first response to that is, I have no idea why it failed. So I start, I go to look at the video. And from like, 
an hour and 30, an hour and 40 minutes, like it just stopped. Like I like on camera, I was just stopped. And it was, the numbers kept on going, like the video was playing, but there was no video or sound there. And I was like, what is going on? So already having gotten up late and wanting to get a bunch of stuff today, today was gonna be my day to get a bunch of stuff done. I start rendering it again. And I'm like, okay, you're being taught patience right now. Let's practice some patience. So I render it again. Another half an hour, go through the whole thing. Export failed. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on, right? So I go in and I'm like, well, maybe it's the length of the vlog, you know? I had deleted everything I could possibly delete to free up space on my computer. So I'm like, well, maybe it's the length of the video. So I go in and I just cut down the vlog, just like did like a five minute section of the vlog to just see if like just a five minute video would upload. So I do this five minute video and it like that takes, you know, what, like a minute or something to render. And it says export failed. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't like, I can't upload anything then to... Um, iMovie because there's something wrong with it. So I knew I, I so I started like googling like what to do if, the, if it says this and I knew it was going to tell me to restart my computer. So I restarted my computer which takes time you know and whatnot. At this point I had cut this vlog you guys so many different ways to try to shorten it because I thought it was the length of the vlog. I thought it was because the 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 vlog was so long that for some reason it was failing. That I had cut so before I did like the 5 minute vlog I had cut it all these different ways, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to go in and find like where areas to cut it that would make sense. So anyway, So I start my computer over and everything starts up and then that's a mess, you know? And then I'm like reading this thing and it said, go in and see what your updates are. So I go in to see what my updates are and iMovie needed to be updated. <laughs> so that's probably what it was. So I had to wait for this, I, uh, this iMovie update, which then that took forever <laughs> to do. And at this point I just was like, okay, <laughs> I just need to stay calm. So, got that all figured out. At that point then, I had deleted all this stuff that I didn't have a vlog to upload. I hadn't rendered like a vlog yet, right? So, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this one last time. I put it up, I put in the cut so it wouldn't be super long because at this point it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock and I was like, sometimes, like a vlog at that point will take three hours to upload, but th it'll say three hours and three hours is really like five hours. And I was like, I'm gonna be posting this vlog at like two o'clock in the morning and it's an hour and a half and nobody's gonna wanna watch it. So I like cut out a bunch like I did before. And uh, <laughs> so I started rendering it. And like I said, it takes like a half an hour. So I was like, I'm gonna run to the post office cause I wanted to do this post office video opening packages. So I was like, which I did on my Peter Does Stuff channel, it's posted over there. Um, so if you wanna, so if, Cynthia and Leslie, the packages, I finally got them. And they are, I opened them over on my Peter Does Stuff channel. So thank you so much for that. It really meant a lot to me. I really appreciate it. So I, I was like, I'm going to the post office and I'm gonna pray on it and I'm just gonna let it be and I'm gonna start my day over. And it was like, but I have to tell you, it wasn't just that. It was like, <laughs> I came downstairs and it was like everything, you guys. Like from, it just, like the dog next door just would like not stop howling today. To, I wore my Birkenstock. <laughs> this is so dumb. Boo and Tucker have not, like when I opened the front door, they haven't been like, wanting to like run out into the snow. They've just been going like right there. Like they'll just like step right off of our <laughs> patio or front patio or area right there onto the ground where it's kind of like not as snowy and then do their business right there, their potty and then come back inside. So I assume they would do that. So I have, I had taken my boots off and I had Birkenstock plastic sandals on and they just 
dart right down. They start like, you know, running down. And I'm like, you guys, and I mean, like, I'm like, I don't know, you know. So anyway, I'm like running after them. And these Birkenstock sandals, my feet are like soaking wet in the snow. And anyway, it just was one thing after another. And this was all before I went to the post office. So I was coming back from the post office and I was just like, you know, people always ask me, they're like, you're always in such a positive mood. Like, how do you stay so positive all the time? And I'm like, well, I'm really not positive all the time, but I appreciate you thinking that, but I have to like do some work. But like, typically my days are not like this. Typically my day, like I might have a slow start to my day and then I'm like, all right, let's go. And I'm in a really good mood, but it just like, I could not lose this like negative attitude today. It just was like, I was just like about everything. You know what I mean? It just was everything. And so, what else happened? There was something else that happened. And I was like, well, I was getting late, started so late too. So that was another thing. And I was like, I had wanted to make a bunch of videos. And I'm like, well, who's going to want to watch videos at 10 o'clock at night? You know? So it just was like one thing after another. So I'm on my way back from going to the post office. And I was like, okay, you need to do some work. You need to dig into that toolbox. So I'm literally doing a verbal gratitude list out loud of like everything in my life that I am grateful for. And you guys, there are just some days where try as you might to start your day over, it's just a real struggle. And I could feel myself like as I was doing this gratitude list, it, you know, it was really kind of scary for me because it reminded me a lot of the past when I used to be like really super negative about things. And um, I could feel myself as I was doing the gratitude list out loud being really pulled to the negative. Like, I didn't even really know what it was. Like, did I just wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? You know, what was it? Like, you know, I finished a great book last night and I feel like I've been, you know, really getting a lot done the last couple days. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I haven't not posted a video, I think since like last weekend or something uh, on like at least one channel. And I was like, you know, like I've gotten a lot done this week. I've got tons done. I finished this book and I finished this TV show, which is, you guys, you know, that's unlike me. I watched this TV show in two days and got to hang out with Alex with some unexpected, you know, time that I didn't think that I would. And, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, what is, why am I being so pulled to this? And so I was like, I am not walking back in the house in a negative mood. I'm not. Like, whatever I have to do, if I have to drive around in circles until I get out of this mood. So I don't know what happened, but I turned it around and I walked back inside and I just was like in a hundred times better mood. So the gratitude really, really helped me. But I mean, I really had to do some work today. I was like, what is going on? Like, I never feel like that. And I think it kind of scared me a little bit because like, that is how I used to be all the time where I would just wake up and be like, just negative. Just everything that I was looking at in the world was just from a, a negative perspective, you know? Oh, nothing goes right. It was just BS. Things you believe to be true that aren't true. Oh, nothing goes right. Oh, a lot goes right in my life, you know? Or this isn't going to work or that's not going to happen or whatever. And it just was like, I don't know. It was just like this negativity was like just festering there in my mind. And I just was like, you have got to get out of this state of mind. You are like exchanging a day of your life and you're not going to do this. Like you, we have spent too many, <laughs> we, I'm like talking to myself. We have spent too many days of our lives being caught in the negative for you to give another day away to the negative. And so I was like, no. So I walked back in the house and I was in a much better mood. And um, I filmed a drama video, <laughs> got it up late, but I was like, whatever. And then I went upstairs and I filmed um, a video in the bedroom. And I love the lighting in the bedroom when I film up there. And it's real easy because I just put the camera up against the wall, and, like um, put the thing underneath, like hook it over the bed, the end of the bed, so it works really well. So anyway, I filmed that and then I came downstairs and then Alex texted me and he was like, oh, I had talked to Tanya. I, I had asked her if she wanted to get a fountain pop. And she was like, yeah, but can we go to Meyer?" And I was like, yeah, sure. So um, Alex texted me. He was playing games over at his friend's house. Her sis I think her sister was there. And they were playing Smash Brothers or Mario Brothers or something. I don't know. But anyway, he was telling me that he won some game. So 
I was like, well, don't hurry home. I said, because I'm working on these videos and I'm going to go get a fountain pop with Tanya, which I did. I went and got a fountain pop. So, um, I think part of it is, you know, I just have like such a ritual of like when I get up, like what I do, like with the video and all this kind of stuff. I think there's a store that opened here. I think this is so weird. It's called Happiness is Pets and it says puppies on the side of it. And when you look inside there, they have cages where they're selling puppies. I thought stores aren't really selling dogs anymore. Like, am I wrong about that? Like, though, I thought the whole puppy mill industry like had shut down like pet stores and stuff like that. I don't know what I think about that. I'm like all, I am like completely 100% pro. I mean, any dog that we ever get in the future, we will rescue. Um, especially after talking to Melissa and Melissa, cause she, and, and my cousin both were, my cousin was like president of the Greyhound Rescue Association in Indiana for a long time. And uh, Melissa does so much work with dog rescues. And I said to her one time, I said, well, what if you want to get a specific kind of dog? Like, you know, because I think that our next dog will probably be a Chihuahua. She said, any dog that you want, you can find and rescue. She goes, I can't promise you it'll be a two-day-old puppy. She said, but any dog that you want, you can find and rescue. And she goes, and a lot of them are puppies, you know? She's like, there's no reason to pay for a dog that has been puppy milled or, you know, whatever, if you can rescue a dog. I am so pro-dog rescue. <clears throat> so, um... But yeah, I thought that was real weird that dog store opened. I just saw it. Anyway, I haven't seen a dog store in forever. So I was able to pull myself out of that and I texted Alex and I said, just stay and have fun with your friend. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I didn't say your friend because I know her name, but I just said, stay and have fun. I said, I'm gonna go get a fountain pop with Tanya anyway. There's no reason for you to hurry home because we were gonna watch RuPaul's Drag Race tonight. I was like, we can just do it tomorrow night. Just have fun tonight with your friend. So I got everything done that I wanted to get done and fed the pups and did all that kind of stuff. And the dogs were so sweet tonight. I was having some, oh, Alex just texted me and said home. Um, I was having some chips in this five layer dip and I was sitting there watching the end of that one show. I don't know what it was called. America Knows Best or something. And then I watched the beginning of a Family Feud and um, Boo and Tucker jumped up in the chair and they were being so sweet. I mean, they were, they're always sweet, but they were being especially sweet tonight. And then Tanya and I went and got a fountain pop. It's so funny, like, in those times that I like have to work from getting to the negative to the positive, there becomes a point when my body just kind of like, it just kind of like, you know when you're like tense and then it's just like, oh, and it just relaxes. And I don't know, it was right before I did my drama video, I just became so relaxed all of a sudden. It was like I didn't, I felt real positive, you know? I don't know what it was. So, um, but I was in such a good mood when Tanya and I went and got our fountain pop. And then we went to Meyer, and she got a bunch of stuff and I walked all around. She was mad she couldn't find this queso. She's like, I need queso. I need white mild queso. <laughs> and I was like showing her like queso like in the chip section. And she's like, that's not like real queso. And I go like, what queso do you need? And she's like, I need like a block of cheese mild queso. I go, I don't even know what you're talking about. I go, Alex's mom uses this kind of cheese that's like mozzarella stuff. And I don't love this cheese. It's like a Venezuelan cheese. They all love it. I'm like, it's not my favorite. And Tanya's like, yes, that's what I need. What aisle would that be on? <laughs> like, Tanya, I don't know. <laughs> she was being so funny. And then we had gotten our fountain pops before. So afterwards we drove around for like an hour and just talked about different stuff. Talked about our girls trip that we're taking to Florida and stuff. And then today was Mel's three-year wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Mel. And then I also started listening to Interview with a Vampire again. I'm right at, it's like 14 hours and 25 minutes. And I'm right at an hour. I just, like, went right past the hour mark. So, I have 13 hours and 25 minutes, I guess, of that book. And then I was like, you know what? I want to get back to my <clears throat> podcast, Up and Vanished. Because I haven't listened to it in like a month and a half or something. 
I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. So I started listening to Up and Vanished. I was listening to Interview with a Vampire on the way to Tanya's and on the way home, because I had to go home to post uh, the vlog, because it was like uploading still like when I left. <laughs> See, it was just one of those days. And um, so on the way back, I was listening to, it was like this case, they do these case, he does this case study thing or case files or something. I was listening to that on Up and Vanish. And it was so weird because like exactly where it picked up on that episode, like I remembered leaving off like at that moment. And it was like I remembered everything from the podcast all of a sudden. So that was kind of cool. So yeah, I'm listening to the podcast again and um, listening to Interview with a Vampire. I don't know what I'm going to listen to next. My next book will be while we're in Florida. I was thinking about listening to another Dexter book. Over my next couple trips, I'll probably finish the Dexter series if I listen to them while I'm down there. They're fun to listen to while I'm in Florida because they take place in Florida. That's a show I need to start watching. I really need to get into Dexter because I know people love that show so much. I thought tonight... I might watch one episode of Euphoria. I have to tell you guys, though, like, my closest friends that have watched that show, Tanya's husband watches it. She doesn't watch it. She said she watched a couple episodes, and it's way too dark for her. Although, she said she watched some episode of one season. It was talking about addiction and recovery, and she really liked that one episode. Everybody talked about it, but that was, like, the last season of it. Um, I feel like every person that I have talked to has said that it is really, really dark and almost kind of difficult to watch. Um, so I know the kids love it. All the, you know, the younger people are, everybody's watching Euphoria. Um, I thought I'd watch one episode. I can usually gauge a show on one episode. If I watch an episode and I'm like, okay, this is good and I have to watch another one, that's like, if I'm at the end of it and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to see what happens next, then I'll continue it. If not, then like, I could care less. Um, so I thought about doing that to at least give it a try. I'm not real excited about watching the show. And I feel like it's because so many of my friends are like, it, I mean, so many of my friends have told me that it's like really, really dark. And so I don't know. I don't really know much about it. I don't know what it, I have no idea what it's about. I guess not everybody's talking about it. I want to finish Cheer. Grace and Frankie, La Brea, which a lot of people were laughing that I called La Brea. I don't know. I don't live in California. I don't live in LA. So anyway, but it's La Brea, I know. And actually, I have talked to a couple people about it. My friends are like, that show is, like, Tanya's husband watched. He said, yeah, I watched an episode. I couldn't get into it. All these people are like, that show is stupid. And I'm like, I don't think it's stupid. It reminds me of Lost, kind of. Got renewed for another season. And then I also want to watch... I have ice up here and it's like melting and blowing. I also want to watch Manifest and Black Summer, the vampire or the zombie show. I mean, I've got a ton of shows that I want to watch, but those are like the ones that are on my... Oh, and that Area 81 or whatever it's called or something 81, everybody's telling me I need to watch that too. So I will. That looks good. Maybe that'll be the next show I watch. I don't know. I really wish there was a good um, true crime documentary like Making of a Murderer, The Keepers, or The Staircase, or something like that. I wish there was one of those that was out that was like really good to watch. Yeah, I'm kind of really excited about my books for um, February because now that I'm done with Bonnie and Clyde, and then when I get done with interview with a vampire which at this point you know it's kind of like january's over why even read it but it was part of it was my book for peter's book club but i really want to read it um and i was talking to tanya about it she's like oh i read that years and years ago i was like did you like i said i think she would like it she likes these like historical fiction books and it is kind of a historical fiction i mean but it's about a vampire but it is historical fiction at the same time it's interesting um and it's very well obviously i mean Anne rice was a phenomenal writer Supposedly, I mean, I haven't read anything else by her, but it's like really, really well written and well told. And, um, so anyway, yeah, 
I want to read it and I want to finish it and see what I think of it. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go right in and read The Maid next because that's my book for February. Um, both The Maid, which is Peter's Book Club book for February, and then I don't even know what I the name of the book is for True Crime Book Club. It was some book that I picked and I told... I sent like two or three books to Mal and she was like, this one looks good. And I was like, oh, it's the Greg Olson book. I don't know what it's called. It's about a Amish murder and like the, this father is Amish or something. It's supposed to be good. His last one was called If You Tell. Oh God, that was such a good book. We read that for a True Crime Book Club. So, uh, yeah, but other than that, like, I have no idea what I'm going to read. I think I'm just going to go through my Audible list and just pick out some random stuff. I started reading this new graphic novel. I have no idea what it's called, um, but I got, I, I don't like it. It very much looks like comic book, and I just can't really get into it at all. So, I don't think that I'm going to continue to read it. I'm trying to decide if I want to take a book on these trips with me. I think I want to take... I can't think of that guy's name, but he was the one that wrote Mysterious Skin. And I bought his second book, and I have it, and I've been wanting to read that for a while. You know, I had said I wanted to read, like one classic novel every month for this year and I was like when I was listening to Slouching Towards Bethlehem I was like well I'm going to consider this my like classic so I think I might listen to Slaughterhouse Five this month I've never read a Vonnegut book and Vonnegut was my mom's favorite author isn't that crazy I've never read a Vonnegut book and I'm from Indiana It was funny, I was reading through the comments and there was a comment and somebody said, oh, it's so funny that you've never told this story on here before. And I was like, oh, it was the story about going to see Oprah in Chicago for uh, Christmas and, and buying or getting the tickets from the concierge for my stepmom and that was my present for her. And the person commented and was like, funny that you've never mentioned meeting Oprah before. And I'm like, uh, actually, yeah, I have. Um, I've mentioned it a couple times. I've told that story on here before. And um, I can remember one time I mentioned it, somebody found the video clip of where you can see me in the audience. That was a couple years ago. But anyway. There was a reason why I brought that up. There was a story I was going to tell in association with that. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like a Friday evening. It feels like a a Sunday, kind of. Tanya and I were talking about Monday and Tuesday. So, Tanya's birthday was Wednesday, so she'll get her coin this Tuesday. And then I think we're going to go do dinner and stuff. And so... Tuesday, Wednesday. Like, when do we leave? So anyway, that's next week. Um, it's so funny. It's like... I know we just had all this snow and I was so excited about it, but it's like we're getting closer and closer inch by inch to summer. <laughs> How is the battery dying already? Oh my God, this is a brand new battery. At 20, I can't see how many minutes it is, maybe 29 minutes. It's flashing red at me. So I'm gonna have to pull in here and change the battery. 
Which is interesting because, you know what somebody just said on my video? They were talking about my battery being drained of energy all the time. I literally pulled this out of the charger and it was green when I pulled it out and I put it in the camera and I walked out the door. So how this battery is dead is beyond me. And somebody said, you know that spirits drain energy from electricity. And I thought, oh, I like that idea that maybe that's why my batteries are going dead. Because I have spirits and angels around me. She's a Christmas angel. Let me change this, and then I will be right back. Is it gonna stop? Three, two. Okay, I'm back with the second battery. Let's see if anybody has commented on the new vlog. It has 276 views already, and that is in an hour and four minutes. Well, that's on the back end, I can see. What? Someone said, did the second half of the vlog upload? The beginning is throwing me off. What happened to the vlog? Oh shoot. That must be, I, I must have just cut out the whole beginning of it. Oh my God, you guys, hold on just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. You guys, this vlog is a complete joke. I, I'm so over it tonight. <laughs> I thought I was so peaceful and doing so well. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to run home and see what I did to the vlog. And then you know what, I'm just gonna have to upload, uh, the. I'm gonna have to upload the vlogs. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I must have just not included the second part of it. Um, you know what, in fact, I'm gonna do, before I go home and do this, I am going to just, I'm gonna change this and make it private. And then, when I get home, I think I've deleted all of the pieces at this point, but if I haven't, then I will try to put it together again so it makes sense. So what I did, I wondered why it was like, even with the cut part that I cut out, I was like, cause I called it a, a really long vlog and then it was like an hour and 23 minutes and then I was like, okay, it's just a long vlog. I was like, what happened to this half an hour piece? It was like almost exactly like a half an hour piece. Even though I cut out this piece, I was like, what's, I'm so confused about what's going on. But I had at this point, like you guys, like cut so much of it up that I couldn't figure out what was going on. I left out the very first part of it. You know how like each part is like, it goes to 29 minutes, it goes to like 30 minutes and then it stops. Well, I left out the first part when I was like uploading the video. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to see if I can even fix it. I don't think I can, honestly, because I uh, I think I've deleted those parts off of my computer already. So, because I had to go in and delete a bunch of stuff because I was trying to restart my computer and everything like that. Oh well. <laughs> What a mess, what a mess. I'm not gonna cry over spilt milk, it is what it is. I tried my best to get it up and it, didn't, it just didn't work. <laughs> I kept on going in and trying to cut pieces out so that, like I was telling you guys before, so that it would be shorter because I thought, you know, I could upload it longer. And, but then it came out to an hour and 23 minutes. And I was like, this is so weird. Like it was at like a hundred, it was like at an hour and 53 minutes. It's like almost exactly a half an hour below. And I only cut out like, I didn't know how much I had cut out at that point because I kept on going in and like recutting it and redoing it. And so I was like, 
and I was trying to find an appropriate place, but I just must, it's like when, I, <laughs> you would have to be able to see it to understand what I'm talking about, but like each 30 minute, you know, each segment where I start and stop it is like a, an extra, is like a, not an extra, is each a separate part, right? And what I do is I just drag them down, drag them down, drag them down, and then they all go together as like one cohesive video. Does that make sense? And what I must have done is I must have just left off the first part. But what's so weird is that when you use it, it has like a orange line underneath it that will show you. And I know that when I looked at it, it had the orange line underneath it. So I don't know how I left it off. Because I kept on looking at it. I was like, this isn't even making any sense. I don't know what's going on here. Well, oh well. It is what it is. Had I just gone in and updated my um, iMovie, all of this would have been like so easily solved <laughs> today and I would have had an almost two hour vlog that everybody could have just enjoyed instead of this mass of trouble that has happened today, but oh well, you know, it is what it is. You do the best with what you're given, right? Well, all right, I'm almost done. I'm gonna go check this vlog, and then I will come back and give you guys an update. <laughs> all right, bye. Okay, I'm back. Well, oh my God, you guys, this vlog, <laughs> we're gonna stay calm. <laughs> I'm gonna stay relaxed. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened before I take off. Okay, so I go inside, right? Alex is home. And um, I was like, I had to come home and fix the vlog. He's getting ready to go to bed. So I'm like, I go inside and I look in my trash on my computer and I had four pieces for the vlog. I could tell because it was from the car. So I pulled them over and I go to re-upload the vlog. So I go to the first piece and I pull it down and it's in the middle of the vlog where the one that I just posted started, right? So I'm like, what is going on? Thankfully, okay, because earlier, because I was having all of these problems, I was having all these problems with my vlog when I filmed my drama video, because you know lately I've been like deleting videos and filming over on my memory card. I had this other memory card out there, not one of my new ones, but I had another one. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna save the memory card that I filmed my vlog on and I'm not gonna film on that memory card because I wanna make sure just in case I need these pieces for some reason. So I had, I don't know what happened to that first piece of the vlog. Like it is completely missing off of my computer. It was there <laughs> because when I first filmed it, it was like an hour, like I had everything up there. It was like an hour and 53 minutes or something like that. It's now an hour and 49 minutes. The video that I posted was an hour and 23 minutes. So there's 20 some, 26 minutes or something missing from the video, right? And I'm like, what happened to that piece? It's like completely gone. So I re-upload the memory card. I'm sitting there and it takes for, I mean, it's an hour and 40. It takes a long time to upload, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm waiting for it to upload. Thankfully, all the pieces are there. So I go and I put all the pieces back and I'm thinking to myself, it's gonna take me like an hour, it's gonna take me like a half an hour, probably half an hour, to render this video, okay? <laughs> then I have to go back home and I have to upload it on my computer, which is gonna take three hours. So let's just say, if it gets rendered by two o'clock, 2.15, okay, it's 1.35 right now, then that's gonna be 5.30 in the morning that the vlog is ready, unless I wait till tomorrow to post it, or just post two videos in one day, which means nobody's gonna watch this long vlog that I filmed last night driving around forever. There, nobody's gonna watch it because Peter just couldn't figure this stuff out. So anyway, so it's 
it's uploading or it's rendering right now and then I'm gonna finish the vlog and then I'm gonna come back and I am going to upload it to the computer and then as soon as it's uploaded I will post it I actually you know what I need to put something out on Twitter cause I'm kind of surprised because I privatized the video do you have any comments on it hold on a second let's see what somebody, if anybody said they can't watch the video Okay, no, because the video is no longer up. Let's see, did anybody say anything on Twitter? Usually, <clears throat> somebody will say something on Twitter. What's going on on Twitter? Now it's like, my Twitter is not uploading or updating. Why is that? What is going on in the world tonight? Yeah, my Twitter won't up update. Oh my God. Is, it might be because sometimes when I'm sitting right here, like right in front of the house, like because I'm kind of like between like my, you know, internet and my phone and the internet of the house, sometimes it doesn't um, work really well. I have literally at this point been almost working on this for 12 hours. <laughs> this vlog, getting this vlog up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, it'll get up and everything will be fine and in 24 hours we'll have forgotten this was even a big deal, right? So, thank you guys for understanding. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's see if Twitter's working over here. Do, do, do. Yes. But I didn't get any notifications or anything. to say that I had to re-upload it on Twitter and it's auto-correcting to re-upholstering. Okay, I moved out 30 minutes of my vlog and had to re-upload it. I'll post it <laughs> as soon as it's done, which should be in the next few hours. I was so proud, you guys, that I got such a long vlog and it's just been a total disaster site. So, please go back and watch it. It was a good vlog. I talked about all different kinds of stuff on it. Oh my gosh. Well, I also posted something on my community tab when I was inside and I was waiting for it. I was like, well, I'll post something on my community tab and then maybe people will see it and they'll know that, like, you know, something happened to it so good thing I was reading comments where people were saying what happened there's like the first 30 minutes of the video are gone and it totally didn't make sense because it went right in and I was talking about like Paris Hilton because we were watching that well Alex was watching that show Paris and Love for that long because like I said I have to go back out and um, or back home when it's ow it's been my tongue when it's done I mean I guess I could vlog a little bit longer after that but um, I have to go home and I have to start uploading it so that so I told Alex I said are you going to bed he was like yeah here suddenly he's playing his game and I said well 
I'm gonna, while the vlog is rendering in iMovie, I'm gonna go and finish my vlog and then I'm gonna come back and start uploading it and then I'm gonna listen to a little bit of my audiobook and then come home and watch a show or something while it's uploading. So hopefully I can post it tonight because if I don't, this is why I wanna go back home as like soon as it's done rendering because if I don't post it tonight, then I won't post it till I get up tomorrow and that could be one o'clock in the afternoon. So I would rather post it tonight that way when people are getting up, they can start watching it. Some people will be like, I don't even know what you're talking about because I never saw it go up. <laughs> oh. oh, well. I can't believe it. There's still a lot of people that have their Christmas lights up. Which, I mean, is pretty, right? But it's like... It's almost Valentine's Day. How long do you think is a reasonable time? Do these people have a Christmas tree up in their house? How long do you think is a reasonable amount of time to keep your Christmas... See, they still have their Christmas lights up. Christmas tree and Christmas lights up. Like, do you think going into Valentine's Day, that's like a problem? <laughs> Are you problematic if you're leaving your Christmas tree up into Valentine's Day. I mean, it's not problematic, but... And do you keep it up because you love the look of it, or do you keep it up because you're lazy and don't want to take it down? I definitely fall into the latter category. I am the one that doesn't want to take it down. Cause... And what's so funny is, when I finally took my trees down, I either said this on here or I was telling Tanya this, like, it took me like five minutes to do like each tree it wasn't well i mean maybe not five minutes because i filmed a video doing it on my one channel for my peter does stuff channel but um it's so funny i can like see it snowing but like it looks like over there i can see it snowing but like right in front of me it's not snowing but then when you look up at the light can you guys see i don't know if you can see the light but if they're the light you can see it snowing. But then right outside the window, it's not snowing. I'm like, is that just blowing snow? Or what's going on here with the snow? Tell me so. Tell me something. <laughs> Tell me why. I used to love going down to Judd so much. I don't know if you, if little unknown fact about Peter, if you've never watched this <laughs> vlog before. I haven't talked about it in a while, but I love, 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 love country music. It's like one of my favorite kinds of music. And do you know what is so funny is when I was growing up, I hated country music. Like the only country song I liked growing up, well, other than Delta Dawn by Tammy Wynette. No, it wasn't by Tam Tammy Wynette, by Tanya Tucker, Tammy Tucker. A Delta Dawn, what's that flower you got on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? Oh, did I hear you say? Anyway, other than that, I loved uh, the Juice Newton song. Playing with the queen of hearts. Dun, 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 dun. No one is really smart. The Joker is the only fool. I had the 45 and everything. Oh my God, I love that song so much. But other than that, the other song, the, I didn't really like country songs. My mom used to always call it country western. My dad, when I was growing up, he listened to a lot of country western music. He listened, and it really was country western. It was like Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, Waylon Jennings. My dad listened to all of that, the outlaws, you know. And um, country music outlaws. No, but they did. They put an album out. It was called The Outlaw. <laughs> did you not know that? Why is my camera... I was noticing that tonight when I was, like, looking at this video for the nine millionth time trying to, like, put it together. And I was like, it goes out of focus all the time. Why does it do that? Stupid camera. Stupid camera. <laughs> Alex is so funny. Like, I was telling him about it, and he was like, what's wrong, babe? And I was like, I'm just really frustrated. I was like, I've been trying to get this vlog up since, like, 3 o'clock. And um, I said, and then I thought I had it all figured out and I left the first part of the vlog out. He goes, well, just don't post the vlog for today. I go, what? <laughs> he goes, just don't post it. He goes, nobody will be upset about it. I go, what? <laughs> Not post a vlog that I filmed. 
an hour and 50 some minutes or what no like I have to vlog every single day somebody commented that they were excited are you guys excited about the Florida Florida vlogs oh my god it's gonna be so fun so I have the Florida vlogs for Valentine those are the Valentine's Day Florida vlogs and then I have the Florida vlogs for when I am with my girlfriends in Florida that's gonna be fun and then when Alex and I are down there for Ultra, then we're staying um, for a couple more days in Florida, too. So, I've got three Florida vlog sessions coming up. So, yeah. I'm excited about that. Joker is the only film. I think getting sober really had a lot to do with country music, too. I don't know why. I don't know if this would be so true today, but like when I got sober, there were a lot of people that like I hung out with that listened to country music. Tanya and her sponsor, they introduced me to that song, the Alison Krauss song. I can't remember who the guy is in it, but it's Whiskey Lullaby. Oh, such a sad song. I think part of it is because country music is a lot about like alcoholism, divorce, just tragedy in people's lives. Why wouldn't you want to listen to music about that? <laughs> you know? Why wouldn't you want to listen to D I V O R C? <laughs> it's happening today. There's something about it, too, that, like, Tony and I used to watch the American mu uh, Country Music Awards, and they just all act like they're all go to each other's houses for, you know, like a chili dinners and, you know, potlucks and they're all just such good friends and stuff like that and they just know each other. There's something real wholesome and family-ish about that whole country music community, don't you think? Like, I think they seem so nice. <laughs> all the, they seem so nice, don't they? I was looking at a Twitter, some author that I follow, I can't remember, but she was, one of the books that I read for the book club last year, and she said something about her book had sold 475,000 copies or something like that, and I was like, damn, 475,000 copies, if you break that down, okay, like, so let's say if a book is $20 a copy, right? And authors probably get about a third of that. So, I mean, even 475,000 times. Well, what's the hardback? $24.99, $29.99, something. They're expensive. So let's just say if an author gets $6, $7 per sale of a book times $475,000. I was like, oh my God. And this author isn't even on the level of like New York Times best. I mean, it was a New York Times bestseller list, but I'm talking about people that are consistently there. Like Colleen Hoover, like every single one of her books is on the New York Times bestseller list. John Grisham, James Patterson, like those people who like, they have like four books on the New York Times bestseller list or always have at least one up there, you know, and they're selling millions and millions of copies. Like, I actually, it was interesting because I read, I was reading some article and it was like the the richest, it was like celebrities or something. This was a long time ago. It was like the, the top 50 richest celebrities in the United States. And, and you know, um, John Grisham was on that list. James Patterson was on that list. Daniel Steele was on that list. Nora Roberts and Jackie Collins were all on that list. And I was, maybe it was like celebrities by like what they did. But like their wealth was like mass wealth. I was like blown away. I was like, I cannot believe that they make this much money from writing books. Like it was unbelievable to me. I mean, I know, but the thing is, is like the, the authors that make that kind of money are so few and far between. I mean, it's not like most authors are making that kind of money. You know, they're just not.
It would be nice if they were though. I think it would be nice, you know, if you were an author. I always just, my dream was to be able to make enough from what I was selling by my writing to be able to support myself. You know, I think that's when you've like kind of really made it as a writer. That's not like the millions and millions of dollars stuff, but I will say this, you have to keep on putting, you know, work out. It's like interesting to me because like, <clears throat> I do think about that sometimes when I look at like these cozy mystery writers that <clears throat> let's say they have like two different, three different series and they're putting out six, seven books a year. And even if they're books and most of them, most of these cozy mystery writers self publish, right? So let's say if, which means they're making 100% of the profit off of any sale. If they sell a book, they're making 100% of the profit. Unless they're selling it through like Barnes and Noble or something like that. But if they're selling it through Kindle or Create Space or whatever on Amazon, they're making 100% of that. Or let's say 80% of that, right? So if you have 5,000 to 10,000 people buying every book that you put out and you're selling your book for, let's say if you sell 10,000 copies of your book, right? And even if you're selling it for a low rate of like $5.99 or $9.99, I mean, what is that? $100,000 a book that you're making? Close to that? $80,000 a book, let's be fair and say. And you're putting out, let's say, four books a year at $80,000, which means you're making over $300,000 a year by writing cozy mysteries. And I know there's probably some authors out there that are like Peter, <laughs> like be for real. But no, there if like you look on like Kindle and stuff, there's like a lot of like women that write male male romance and it does very well, like male male erotica, but women write it and they do very well. And you look at their reviews and they have like 100,000 reviews and the book came out like two years ago. And you're like, oh my God. And yeah, the books aren't selling for $20. They're selling for $4.99 or $5.99 or $6.99 or something like that, right? But 100,000 copies at $5.99 on Kindle, you guys. I mean, that's a half a million dollars you're making from one male on male erotic novel. There's money to be made out there. I'm like, I need to start I need to start writing cozy mysteries and male male erotica underneath some pseudonym is what I need to do. What was I reading? I was reading something where this woman had I think it was a true story and they had like written she, she and her husband or her husband or somebody had written erotica for years under a pseudonym and just made a fortune off of it. Just an absolute fortune. It's crazy, isn't it? I think you're either good at that or you're not, though. Like, I don't think that's something that I would be good at writing. I think you have to have a, like a, and I don't love reading it either. It just, it doesn't really do much for me. Like sex scenes and books and stuff. Like, I mean, if they fit into the, the storyline, then yeah, that's great. But like, if they're just there to like be sexy, like that doesn't do anything for me. And so I think that you have to, I'm going to pull in here and I want to look and see if anybody has commented on my Twitter or my community tab to see if they were watching it and they noticed that it just stopped. Um, but I think you have to enjoy reading it and know what's good reading it to be good at writing it, you know? And I don't, so. I think I would be better at the cozy mysteries, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, Peter, we think you would be too. Okay, let's see. I know at least one person's gonna be like, I wonder what was happening, I was watching and it just stopped. Nobody commented on it. <laughs> They liked it, but they didn't comment on it. Okay.
one person commented on my post and they said, your videos always make my days better. That was from Lauren. That was so sweet, wasn't it? Because I said, hey, you guys. Where did I say it? I completely deleted the first 30 minutes of my vlog tonight. I explained what was going on. That was so nice, wasn't it? Oh, thank you, Lauren. It's probably so late for, for it to be going up anyway that people are probably like, well, we weren't waiting for it anymore. We were going to bed. <laughs> oh, man. Tomorrow is going to be... Well, that was the other thing, too, that happened. So, like, as the day was getting later and later and later and I was struggling getting this stuff done, I was kind of wavering between, like, well, just not f filming any videos at all. But I wanted to, and I had videos that I wanted to film, videos that I didn't even get up today or film because it was getting so late. And then I was like... I shouldn't have stayed up so late and watched the show. I should have gotten up earlier. To, you know how it is. I was beating myself up about that, which is stupid. I had so much fun watching that show last night, you know? And so, uh, but then I didn't get the videos done that I wanted to do. And then I was like, on Sunday, you know, you got the live stream. And you probably won't want to film a bunch of videos after that, but maybe I will. So, I was like, whatever, just relax and... Stop beating yourself up. There's no point in that, you know? Well, maybe this works for the better, best anyway. Now I will have to sit there at home and watch a uh, episode of Cheer while I'm waiting for the video to upload. <laughs> I am going to listen to my audiobook, though, tonight. I think the, the vlog should probably be done rendering by now. I'm going to head home and see if it is. Um, but I've been vlogging for 25 minutes. I have to imagine that it's probably done now. I didn't even know there was an Aldi over here, or did I? My mom used to love this store called The Accent Shop. She'd always go there and buy presents. And Melissa and I were talking about it, because when you go in there, it's like, it's kind of like the strangest store in the world. I don't know how my mom like used to find stuff there. They have like collectibles. It's kind of like a high-end Hallmark. If that even makes sense. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like a high-end Hallmark. But my mom, but they have like a clearance section and stuff. And my mom would go in there and she'd always get gifts for people. I can remember I'd be like, well, what are you getting, Aunt Kathy? Oh, I got her such and such from the gift, the accent shop. She loved that store. And so I went in there to get Melissa something, I think, and I just couldn't find anything. I just was not real imp What is going on up here? Can you hear it? It sounds like it's like wind going through there. But anyway, I just wasn't super impressed with that store. I will say this, after we have had, <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh, Peter, God. Now that we've had our snow for the winter, I don't need any more snow, I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm fine with the snow. It is so pretty though, you guys. Like I'm looking at all these little hills over here and stuff and there's snow in the woods. It is so incredibly pretty. Um, but like, I'm kind of done with it for the year. <laughs> like we don't need to get another snowstorm. Isn't it so funny that last year, I'm like passing the hotel where we stayed last year, that's where we stayed last year for Valentine's Day. Isn't it so funny that last year we got snow on Valentine's Day and that was when I stayed up and I watched that Hell in the Heartland and then we got a snowstorm almost the same week. Isn't that so crazy? You're like, no, not really, it's February in Indiana. <laughs> Only I like try to make connections out of something, but I do think it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I need a really good true crime documentary to watch in the hotel room while we're in Florida, because I think that that would be fun. Oh my God, you know what I got the other night? I got Captain Crunch cereal and half and half. And I was like, I'm gonna have a moment like remembering my mom and eating cereal with half and half. And you know what's so funny is the last two days, I've like sat there and looked at that box in the, in the uh, cabinet and I'm like, I am so not. What is she saying to me? What is she screaming at me? 
in the last two days I've been like, I am so not hungry for Captain Crunch. What are you saying? What? she's saying she's saying singing something <laughs> lord she looked like she had had too many spirits tonight you don't want to have that many spirits and the guy driving the car did not look like he was happy with her at all <laughs> she's they're about to turn left here <laughs> She's gonna be fun tonight when she gets home and she, uh, hope she doesn't puke on herself. <laughs> hope she doesn't puke on herself. I don't miss those nights at all. I don't miss those nights, not one bit. You guys, I think I'm at 50, 29 minutes, which means it's been a half an hour and then the vlog is gonna be done. So I'm gonna get off here now. Um, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start uploading it so I can get the vlog up for you guys. Um, thank you for understanding, I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, what else? If nobody else has told you this today, I love you. I have to get this done in 30 seconds. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Um, three most important things. Number one, remember that you can start your day over whenever you want. <laughs> today has been that day for me. Number two, um, uh, number two, a pr a practice random acts of kindness. Number three, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya. Oh, and for those that need to hear it and those that want to hear it and those that just happen to stick around. One more. I love you. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Happy birthday,